Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Thursday. Hmm, no pause there. That's because I already tried to shoot one vlog and I messed up, so I'm starting over and I know it's Thursday. Um, anyway, lots of stuff to tell you. I just finished my morning cardio, which today was one of my old favorites. Uh, this is Body Strikes 2. Um, hopefully I'm going to say this right. I'm going to say it with an accent, the way she says it. Ilaria Montagnani. Okay, I don't know what... I, anyway, I'll find out because... She is going to be part of Fitfluential. Talking to her very soon. And she also has a new set of DVDs coming out, um, which I'm very excited about. You guys know, like, this has been one of my all time favorites. Um, and I really like it. I just finished about 45 minutes. Um, f I, let's just say 400 calories. Um, but again, back to what I was saying about the heart rate monitors, which I'll answer your questions on that because you guys have seen me with. This polar and this polar. I'll explain the difference in a second. But, you know, again, there's that blasted squirrel. Um, again, I, I just worked out. Let's, uh, hold on. This is actually saying I'm at an hour and five, but I stopped. I came here and I set everything up. Um, I think I did a total of probably 45, 50 minutes. The workout is 53 minutes. Probably did 50 minutes. And let's just roll this down and say I did about 400 calories. Um, this is, again, I don't want to say proving my point, but, you know, illustrating what I was saying before. I've seen no shortage of, you know, going to clubs, meaning health clubs or, or whatever, where they'll go, oh, and I remember when Tybo first came out, which I did this the other day. See how I put my little... <laughs> so that when I'm going to pick, like, a cardio uh, DVD, I know, oh, this one burns, I tend to burn about 350 calories. That's how I know if it's, like, hardcore or really light. But anyway, I remember when the Tybo DVDs were first coming out, and I think even on some of the infomercials, they were like, you know, this can burn up to, you know, 7,000 calories in an hour. Okay, now, I will let the experts... Coffee's brewing, it's really loud. Also notice the mess behind me. I'll get to that in a minute. Um, but um, I, I don't know what the, the rule of thumb is as far as if you weigh more, you burn more calories. In other words, like somebody who's heavier and, and taller, whether you're heavier because you're taller or heavier because you have more fat to lose, if, if that person burns more calories per hour than somebody who um, doesn't have that much weight to lose or shorter, has much less skin space, if you know what I mean. Um, I don't know what the rule of thumb is, but either way, for me to have had a really good solid workout and burned 400 calories, think about that. Most of the infomercials out there, whether it's an infomercial or if it's um, they're trying to sell you like an elliptical or whatever it is, they're always going to say something like up to a thousand calories an hour, up to 1500 an hour. I don't know that I have ever in all of my years of working out and I'm not trying to paint myself as like the supreme fitness expert, I'm just saying I've done a lot of stuff. Insanity workouts, you know, those are high cap, high calorie burners, very intense um, workouts. I've never burned a thousand calories in an hour that I know of, ever. And we'd have to maybe look back on my blogs for that um, as we speak. So I'm gonna, oh shoot, and I need to take my picture. But I'm just letting you know, some of you guys were asking, Kelly, there's no way, well, let me do my voice. There is no way you're putting only a tablespoon of cream in your coffee. Yes, I do. I literally take out a tablespoon. Of cr because I've added one tablespoon of cream to my, if you will, original paleo version of my coffee. So basically I have my coffee in there, I put a little bit, and I because I'm adding the cream, I do put a little bit less of my coconut oil. So I put my coconut oil in, a little bit of that cinnamon, you could add whatever spices, and then I add one tablespoon of cream. And you can see it's a little bit more, but you know, old school Kelly, who really liked to have cream in her coffee, would have probably added a lot more cream until this was creamy looking. I don't do that. It just, it gives it enough that I like it. Now, oh, it's so good. Now, I have to take a picture of my calorie burn because that's what we do at Carla. I will get back to you in a moment. Oops, no, we're gonna Instagram it all at once. Um, take a picture, new iPhone, by the way. That's another thing. So much has been going on in the past. Oh, the light's bothering me. Um, hold on. It's going to take 30 seconds. If you're not on Instagram, you, you are crazy. Um, and I'm not going to Siri this right now because then I would probably screw it up. Kickboxing. 
And then we do hashtag influential, hashtag proof, hashtag polar, because we're talking about our polar. Welcome to my world, people. Um, get after it. Okay, Facebook, Twitter, Flickr. Bam! There we go. Um, so, as you can see, so much new technology has come this way, you guys, in the past um, several days. And today, Thursday, I get my new computer. I'm so, I don't know what I'm most excited about that has been delivered lately, but I will tell you, I have spent a lot of time the past couple of weeks getting seriously, <laughs> if my mom was here, she would totally make a joke. Siri, seriously, get it? The new iPhone has Siri on it. Okay, great. Um, anyway. Cleaned out my office, you know, again, 2013 is about putting procedures in place and processes in place so that I have time for myself, preparing my food, making sure I have meals ready so that I'm not doing what I did a lot of the year last year, which is running out here, being on a call, looking in my fridge, having four things at best, which usually was eggs and maybe frozen turkey, maybe I had eggs and, and that was it. And I'm looking in there going, I had eggs for breakfast. I can have a protein shake. And you know, like I'm, I'm not satisfied, I'm not eating enough, I'm not eating regularly enough and wondering why I'm so tired. That's not gonna happen anymore. So a lot of the past two weeks when I've had any free time, I almost ruined my tongue there. I have been organizing my office like a mad woman and also getting my kitchen prepared and getting just, you know, doing a lot of cleaning out and organizing, and I'm telling you, it feels so damn good. Preparation is awesome. I bought myself two new saucepans because, well, actually this is my old one, but I bought myself, I needed a medium-sized saucepan because when I moved, I had really, um, it's not clean. <sighs> when I moved from my old condo, I was looking at all the, the pots and pans that I had, and I was like, I kind of did that when I was um, going through my divorce. Um, I, I had a lot more pans and I left the crappy ones for my ex-husband. I can't believe I left him anything <laughs> outside of a bomb maybe. But um, I got rid, I left all of the crappy pans, you know, and, and, any, and I just consolidated. And then when I moved this time, I only kept my really good pans. I've got some really good saucepans from, um, I almost said Pottery Barn, from, I need to eat. Um, from, and I overcooked my bread. I'm getting to this in a minute. Don't jump to conclusions. It's my zucchini protein bread. Um, I, um, what was I saying? Oh, I have some, see the steam coming off of it? See the steam? This is um, zucchini protein bread. I'm getting off track again. I had two really, I have two really big pampered chef pans, but honestly, like see that, they're like this big. So if I wanna just go make like a small thing of eggs um, or whatever, I had one small pan, which is this size. I'm not showing you because it's a little dirty. It's pissing me off. And so I bought um, some medium sized pans. Um, I also ordered, <laughs> I ordered groceries from Peapod the other day. I'd like you to see, I'm not lifting a 15 pound weight, I'm actually lifting a sweet potato. These potatoes need their own zip code. Seriously, this is my head and this is a potato. Look, all of these potatoes from Peapod. Hello? Hello? <laughs> That's something my mother would do too. Anyway, so, got more pans. Gosh, I have a lot to show you guys. I'm so excited. I'm already at freaking 10 minutes. I meant to shoot two different videos today. Um, let's go with maybe the kitchen theme. Got more pans. I also ordered um, from Peapod, so I have a ton. Actually, maybe, do you guys wanna see inside of my refrigerator? God, I hope it's not really messy. <laughs> okay, hold on. So, what do we have in here? <laughs> we have a lot of egg whites. This is my shredded zucchini for what I'm about to tell you. That's the um, shredded uh, zucchini that we use to make zucchini protein bread. So you can just keep an extra baggie here. This is a lot of cooked tilapia. Very easy to pull out and heat up. These are some roasted vegetables. Can you see in there? Broccoli, um, Brussels sprouts, whatever. 
and then I just keep them in the foil that I cook them on, and then I take them out and heat them up. Um, Greek yogurt, 100% uh, great protein, fat-free. Um, spinach, we've got asparagus, we've got mushrooms. Not that you need a brand for mushrooms, but... And then below here we have eggs that we got at Costco. Um, and down here, again, super size zucchini. Now here's what's funny about this. So I ordered these from um, Peapod, and this is a really nice size zucchini, right? It's more like a cu uh, cucumber size, right? The, the zucchinis that I get at the store, at like Walmart or the grocery store, are literally like that much thinner, that much smaller, and they're half the size. So when I ordered these, because they were on special, I didn't expect to get that much. Oh, I forgot about these. I also got these, um, Jenny O turkey breakfast sausage. And then we've got our broccoli in there, wrapped up. We've got red peppers, um, Brussels sprouts, lots of Brussels sprouts, ah, which I love. Um, anything new over here? Nothing really, just more. That was for when I made my sweet potatoes, um, sweet potato casserole. Um, more egg whites, a big thing of cream. Um, and then in my freezer, which is really messy, more ground turkey for turkey meatloaf. Um, that's kind of, I haven't been doing this lately. My fruit, but there's my frozen spinach for smoothies. Here's my, I'm not taking that out right now, but all the chicken I'm gonna cook, um, shrimp, for shrimp cocktail, minus a ton of the sauce. And then these are frozen steaks. I bought these huge ass steaks, but I'm gonna make them later. So, there you have it. Whoa, sorry. Extreme close up, sorry about that. Um, okay, so we're set there. So, um, I got new pans. I've got my gargantuan sweet potato phones going on. Um, and then this morning, before I popped this in, before I was doing my cardio, which is, this is the zucchini protein bread that I love. But I have to tell you guys, I came in here because I was, oh, I need to press stop. I'm doing a lot of things. Let me take a picture really quick. Um, one second. Um, I was, uh, I was, um, okay, stop. I need to do one thing at once. Stop. Okay, I was, oh, I need to do it that way. Did I need, I took, I forgot to take this. Um, I put my um, zucchini protein bread in the oven. It needs to cook for 50 minutes, about 50 minutes. And so I went in there, I was doing my cardio in the bedroom, and then I came in here and I thought I shut the oven off and I just let this um, sit in there while the oven was what I thought was off and then I came in and I realized it wasn't off. So, it's a little bit more well done than I'd like. Damn you! Sorry kids. I'm gonna focus. I'm gonna stop eating for a moment. A couple things. So, a lot of you guys have been asking about the Polars. This is the Polar that I had before, which is the RSX 300. This is the Polar, which is the new one. Um, this is the FT40. This is a more basic model. So, Fitfluential, my company, is doing a, uh, a campaign. I almost spit out some. <laughs> it's doing a campaign with Polar. And we wanted to first focus on people that have not used a heart rate monitor. So if you haven't used a heart rate monitor before, this is a really good one to start with because I don't think you want to buy a heart rate monitor and get, you know, the, the most killer one and, and maybe get a little intimidated by all the things that you can do. Um, this is a little bit more complex with its capabilities. I have to replace the battery. The battery is really low. So this is the RSX 300. This is the one I've been using for the past year or so. This is the FT40, which is a little bit more basic. So if you're just getting started, you might want to start with this FT40. It's a great model. All of them have the chest strap, which is below these things up here. And that's that. So that was my next thing that everybody wanted me to answer, the zucchini protein bread. And then I'm going to shut up and maybe shoot another vlog. Hello, little squirrel. It's like he's waving at me. Um, oh, there's his friend. Um, zucchini protein bread. 
Here is the, I've made this before, I've talked about this a couple years ago, whenever, but I really love it because all of this, I know it's a kind of overdone mess right now. Did you hear that noise? It's my coffee maker. Because it was brewing while I was shooting, the, or getting ready to shoot the vlog, and I didn't want to wait. So I got a cup of coffee and now whatever spilled on the burner is making that sizzling noise. Had to make sure my oven was off. Okay, so um, zucchini protein bread. You take the zucchini, you saw how I shredded it up in there. Um, Christy Colvin, you were asking me how you shred up a zucchini, or somebody, Taryn, was asking me. Um, I use a food processor, so I cut up the zucchini, put it in the food processor. Um, you take one big bowl, I take a big handful, I mean I don't measure it, I just take a handful of zucchini, shredded zucchini, plop it in the bowl, half a cup of oatmeal, um, four excuse me, four egg whites or four egg whites if you're using the pourable egg whites, that's three-fourths of a cup. Add the egg whites in, add cinnamon. If you want, you can add Splenda or sugar for a sweetener. Um, I add cinnamon and the Trader Joe's spice, pumpkin pie spice. Um, one and a half scoops of protein powder because my serving is supposed to be closer to 30 grams as opposed to 20 grams. So I was using the GNC AMP protein powder. Um, and then is that it? So you've got zucchini, you've got your oats, you've got your egg whites, you've got your protein powder, and then however you want to sweeten it or season it, put it in a, like here's the thing that I use. Very cheap. Get some of these or get a smaller bread pan. If I make it like this, I also have smaller bread pans, but I don't know if this would fit in a smaller bread pan. One serving, because if you think about it, you're having four egg whites, you're having a scoop of zucchini, there's your carbs, your oats is your other, you know, whatever kind of com complex carbs, whatever. And um, then your one and a half scoop of protein powder. It's awesome. Uh, you bake it for 375, about 50 to 55 minutes, of course, today. I baked this for about two hours. Just kidding, it just sounds like that, but it's really... I love it. Honestly, I think it's so good. Had my... Genetics HD, before my workout, see the blue? I'm gonna kill that squirrel. Yeah, you better get out of there. Another thing, have my coffee. Um, also mixing these two together, because I was asking uh, my new BFF, Michael, about glutamine, and he's like, yeah, it would be helpful. So I'm taking BS, BCAAs and um, Oh, glutamine, and I mix them together in one thing. The other thing, I honestly, this is so embarrassing. I'm going to be at 20 minutes, of course. I do not remember who and when they sent me this, but I've had this box of this stuff, I'm so embarrassed, sitting in my closet for a while. And I remember I was like, I've got to figure out what this is. And somebody was saying something to me about, you know, don't let yourself start drinking soda all day. I would, if I could, I'd drink Diet Coke all day. That's how much I love it. But i got to tell you, I put a little squirt of this stuff. So this is these Dasani drops. I hope I'm saying that. Dasani. Do you say it Dasani or Dasani? I don't know. Um, you put it in your water. I got to tell you. Um, amazing. And I know there's either going to be two schools of thought. There's going to be the people that are immediately going to go, that's full of chemicals. Okay, I get you. Move on. For those of us that don't have a problem with certain chemicals going into our bodies, drink up because it tastes great. Oh wait, I'm being snotty, aren't I, by putting my finger up. I would like to make a, a wish. I would like to make a wish that maybe 2013 could be the year that people start to think and go, I'm not going to give unsolicited advice or commentary that's negative anymore. Wouldn't that be great? We'd all be kind of like a better place if people would just shut their mouths or do as our mothers told us when we were young, which is if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. See, even me. I get huge potatoes and I'm like, wow, they're just like a phone. I have to go. It's 20 minutes. I didn't come in here and talk. <laughs> Michael's checking to see if I'm eating, so I gotta take a picture of what I'm eating. So sweet. He checks up to make sure I'm eating. Okay, I gotta go. I will talk to you guys later and I'm gonna shoot another vlog about what I wanted to talk about in the first place. Bye!